Hi, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. A couple of weeks ago, I followed Bo as he pulled apart the driver's vision block out of our Stug 3. A lot of the metal moving components have fused together. It was a really hard slog at first, but I can tell you it was very satisfying watching it all come apart. So without further ado, we bring you episode five of the Stug 3G. The armour in the front of the driver's seat is almost vertical. A direct hit is far more likely to penetrate here, so the Germans bolted on an extra armour plate for added protection. The boys were hoping they could undo a few bolts and screws and just tap that piece out. As always, it's never quite that simple. This frame that locks the handles and vision block in place is the first part that needs to come out. Hit this, we can't hit this plate here off anymore because this is in the way. It's actually locking it on. So we've got to get that off. But, um, are you going to cut it or? No, not yet. I don't want it. The handle is rusted on too hard to be knocked out cold. So Bo has to heat it up red hot so that the rust lets go. When 
I move that, you can see that it's actually hitting that thread there and it's, and it's hitting this here at a certain point. So we can't actually move that anymore. It's gonna cut, we're gonna cut these, um, these bolts off. That will allow us to be able to get past that point and then see if we can make some adjustments with it and move it around and get it past these pieces. And if not? And if not, we'll have to cut these off about here. And then the vision block will, will hit off out this way. After over 80 years in marshland, it's impossible to perfectly reverse the assembly process. We don't like cutting into intact original pieces, but sometimes there's no other way. Cut on an angle because that's all we could get at it. If you've seen Bo's work before, you'll know that once he repairs this piece, you'd never know it was cut. Alright, so... It's only held on with two bolts, this piece. Now Bo can start working away at the rust so he can pull the entire block out.
It's moving. It's moving. block out then it might give us a bit more room to heat from the inside through. So we might try that. Because that's I think the glass actually covers where it, it pivots from the inside. So we might be able to get some heat in there once the block on. This glass block was already badly smashed up when we received it. And just to top it off it got even more badly damaged and painted over when we sent it away to get primed. It's, it's hard to, to smash because it's kind of like um since this vehicle will be running, it is essential we have a proper glass block in there so that the driver will have decent vision. This block was made of many different sheets of laminated glass. The driver would have had spares if the one he was using got damaged. Each film where, where each each piece of um, glass was joined together, each bit of that film in between was just completely just gone, and it's it's gone all brown, so you couldn't see through it anyway. So the block was just unusable. Behind this cap is a pin that holds the whole mechanism together, but at the moment we have no way of reaching it in its current position.
tried the bottom. His handles would then start to lower. Stop pulling the bottom, we might just get it out. The handles are fused in their current position with rust, which is stopping Bo from being able to hit it out. By heating them up cherry red, we might be able to get some movement in them. Finally, after nearly a whole day's work, the vision block is removed. Back then we can just re-weld it back on again. Nice surface. Now that we've got it out, we just put it on the bench and just pretty much going to restore it. So try and pull it all apart and um, fix any broken parts up, free it all up so it works again, and then put it back in place when it's all done. Pretty much. Bo has managed to unscrew the cap in front of the pins, holding the mechanism together. It took a while to work out how to go about it, but Bo has decided that dual wielding hammers would be the best way to get these pins out.
There we go. Is there some sort of groove there? Like a step in it? Did it. We got one side off. These have to come out this way. That's why they were giving us trouble. Absolutely incredible. These pieces are ready to be cleaned up, painted, greased and reassembled. Well, that's all we have time for today. Don't forget, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing really helps grow the channel and helps us to make more content like this just for you. So be sure to catch us next Wednesday for your weekly tank restoration fix. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour, and I'll see you on the next one.